So hi, I got these brand new 12 volt batteries, so let's test them. And if I'm going to the fluke, I see 0 volt, 0 volt. Okay, of course I'm joking. These are not uh, batteries, this is just a case for batteries that I found on AliExpress. And let's see what we have inside this interesting case, you have to admit. So, plastic case. What? 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 <laughs> I'm doing it this case before, I don't know. But we got all this. Whoa, a lot of stuff. And if you understand already, this is for building yourself your own battery from lithium cells. You can use uh, lithium cells and build your 12 volt batteries at home. So let's see what do I have here. Aha! This is nice, but why do I have two of these? Let me check. Ah, because I got two batteries. So the other one just have these battery stickers and the two chargers. Okay, okay. So each uh, BMS is for one of the batteries. And now let's talk about it a little to understand how it goes. So the thing is that if you are going on lithium cells, uh, so you will have to use this BMS which uses three cells, okay? But if you want to go with lithium phosphate cells, which are much more safe, so you will need to go for four cells because each cell fully uh, charge is 3.7 if you use the lithium phosphate and if you use the regular lithium regular I call it regular but there are many kind of lithiums so the, the general uh, let's say lithium uh, on the market which is full charge 4.2 volts then it's enough to use this BMS which you can see hold up to 25 amps this BMS it's uh, very good but not good of course to all things for example if you want to use these cells for your UPS uh, power supply uh, so the current here is not enough because the UPS uses a current of uh, sometimes 50 amps and even a little more so this will not be good for you but for general 12 volt batteries it should be good enough. So you have two options. First, or to change this BMS to BMS with higher current rate, for example, 50 amp or 100 amps. But then, of course, you have to check that your cells can support uh, this high current. And if you will look at the plastic that I get to catch all the cells, so uh, generally it should be three cells uh, uh, in a serial and you can put parallel up to one two three four five six seven so seven is uh, if you get, get let's say high current cells I'm not talking about the highest but let's say about scooter cells that can handle 10 amp continuously then you have 70 amps and of course you have cells like Sony and that can handle a, a, at least continuous 30 amps so 30 amps times 7 you have uh, 200 amps of course this BMS cannot handle it so you will have to replace the BMS to higher current BMS and if you replace to higher current BMS so probably it will not fit in so you have uh, to change something 
in order to get it all to work correctly. And what nice about uh, the metal strips that I got here is that uh, there are connections between the strips that will be a, a good for higher current rate. Of course, if I'm talking about uh, more than 50 amps, so it's not sick enough, and you will have to add a more a strip on on to weld more strip, and it should be sicker than this one. So you, you should take all into account if you want, uh, for example, build your UPS, uh, use this for your UPS, so you will have to do some changes to make it to work. So that's what uh, I want to talk about. Overall it looks nice, so the way it goes is 3 cells, 3 cells, 3 cells, and they are all in parallel and it should uh, do the work and they took all into account pretty nicely so uh, overall uh, I'm going of course to build one and uh, maybe I will build it for UPS so I will have to change the BMS uh, in order to make it to work so that's all for now Hope you enjoy this one. Thank you and as always have a good time and bye.